I call to order the informal meeting of the plenary to brief mem members on reports and allegations of sexual exploitation and abuse involving international forces, particularly in the Central African Republic. I warmly welcome all of you to this meeting. I would like to acknowledge the presence of Under Secretary General and Chef de Cabinet in the Executive Office of the Secretary General, the Under Secretary General for Field Support and the Special Coordinator on improving the United Nations response to sexual exploitation and abuse. And the legal advisor, and the legal advisor will be here as well. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, today uh, we address an extremely serious and troubling issue. I think we are all appalled by the deeply disturbing accounts contained in the last week's reports and allegations. Such acts are unacceptable under any circumstances, but when allegations point to the UN personnel or soldiers deployed in UN missions whose job is to protect civilians from harm, then it's particularly shocking, outrageous, and unacceptable. <coughs> what we need now are prompt, throughout and transparent investigations to establish the facts and ensure proper and swift accountability. Such action is essential for victims whose immediate needs must be addressed as a matter of priority. It will also be welcomed by the UN personnel and soldiers around the world who are committed to furthering the UN values and whose reputation and integrity is tarnished by the acts of but a small few. In recent times, the UN and its member states have taken a series of steps to address the issue. As recently as last month, the Security Council expressed its deep concern regarding such allegations through Resolution 2272. And the Secretary General has continuously sought to strengthen his response as reflected in his zero tolerance policy and in the numerous reports dedicated to this topic and recently also by appointing uh, a special coordinator, Mrs. Uh, Jane Hall Lute, uh, who, has gained us, who has joined us here today. Still, uh, when new allegations emerge, we need to consider it if, if collectively and individually. Troop and pol police contributing countries and all the 900 and 193 member states alike, we are doing everything we can to stop such acts from ever happening again. We must not settle for anything less than that. And it's good that the Security Council also this week took yet uh, another uh, decision in this regard. Let